Hi, I'm Paul Sulka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at IvyMasters.com. Today we're going to look at test 3, section 3, number 5, which reads, if 5 over x equals 15 over x plus 20, what is the value of x over 5? So this is important, this is important, your question. It's a good idea to highlight the important information, underline the important information when you're doing it, get in the habit of that. So. One thing is, you might look at this question and be like, yeah, I really don't know how to do this. If you fall under that category, what you could focus on, notice what this is saying. X, it's asking for the value of X over 5. What the test makers will do is they'll put the value of X as an answer choice because half of the students are going to solve for X because that's what you're taught to do in math class over and over and over and over again. So they're going to solve for x and pick an answer. So test makers are going to make that an answer choice. But also, they would have to make x over 5 the correct answer in answer choice. So the question's asking for the value of x over 5. The correct answer will almost always be one-fifth of another answer choice. So if we look at this, is one-fifth of 10 there? Yes, it's 2. Is one-fifth of 5 there? No, it's 1. One-fifth of 2 there? No, it's two-fifths. One-fifth of a half there? No, that's one-tenth. So it looks like the answer is going to be C without doing any work at all. Now, let's see how we'd actually do this. How you do this is you cross multiply and set equal. So if we cross multiply here, set equal, what we wind up getting is 15x equals 5 times a quantity x plus 20. And then you distribute that 5. And then you subtract 5 from both sides. And then you divide both sides by 10, and you get x equals 10. Now, keep in mind, it's asking for x over 5. So what do you have to do to finish it? If you just divide both sides by 5, then you get x over 5 equals 10 over 5, which is 2. So our prediction was correct. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with cross multiplying or these types of questions. If there's any question you'd like to see from any past PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it and click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.